A table made of your old e-waste. Really, really cheap energy from a wave. Woo! Whee! Not that kind of wave. A mushroom that eats plastic. Not that kind of mushroom. Not that kind of show. Arizona gets some big solar. Pedal at your desk to charge your phone. And an SUV that I finally want. Say it ain't so, Eco. Are you feeling okay, Dad? All on show number 21 of Green Tech Weekly! Green Tech Weekly. We bring you the greenest tech from around the web without being serious. I hope you all liked last week's very interactive show. I did! Me too, but it was a lot of work. Yep. Let's not do that again for a while. If you missed it, check it out here. Let's get to the tech. In our first story, Rodrigo Alonso wants to make your old computer and a lot more into a solid, clear epoxy resin stool. As you can see, it's not going to go with your other furniture. You got that right. Ugly. But it will be the center of your conversation the next time someone is over. Yeah, this is my old 386. If you look down there, you can see the turbo button. <laughs> All of your junk is dumped into the mold and then filled with resin. The result is a clear block that will forever show how nerdy you are. And from the looks of it, you can pass it on to your great, 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 great grandkids. Great, great. Next up, the Ecotricity Sea Razor Tidal Power Generator is aiming to make energy for the UK with tidal power. Sustainable energy is not always the cheapest option, though. It is usually the best option. That's right. But this technique may be the cheapest way to make energy ever. Devon Energy has created a way for pistons to generate energy 24 hours a day with the lowest kilowatt per hour cost. The way they keep this so cheap is by taking the expensive electronics out of the water and putting them on the land. Because as we all know, the gadgets and water don't mix. The piston is raised and lowered by the waves pumping water to a land-based turbine that will make all the cheap energy. As an added bonus, the system can make extra energy by pumping water into an onshore reservoir that could go through a turbine to add an extra boost of energy. They are currently looking for more investors to get the project started by 2014. And now we have these mushrooms from the Amazon that were discovered by Yale's annual Rainforest Expedition and Laboratory, which actually break down polyurethane plastic. The name of this fungus is Pestiolotopsis microspora, and it's a resident of the Ecuadorian rainforest. Wait, 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 wait. I can't find these anywhere on Amazon.com. <laughs> Not that Amazon. The reason this is so cool is because this mushroom can do this at the bottom of a landfill with nothing added to help. Meaning instead of burying the plastic in the ground, it could someday be turned into dirt. I wonder if you could eat it. Why? Because you could put it with your spaghetti. Okay. okay. If you want to live someplace that's solar powered, but you're put off by the fact that your neighbors aren't as green as you are, then you need to move to Maricopa County, Arizona. The Fluor Corporation will be building one of the world's largest solar power stations. The project is known as the Arlington Valley Solar Energy 2, or AVSE2 for short. Wouldn't that be the AVC2? The solar plant is so big. How big is it? It's so big that California will be getting some of the energy from the plant too. That's a terrible punchline. It wasn't meant to be. Another great part of this is San Diego based LS Power will be making a portion of the project, making this a made in America project. Well, sort of. For our fifth story, have you ever had your cell phone battery die at work and not been able to charge it? No, I haven't. Have you ever needed to charge your gadget and do a little exercise at the same time? No, but I probably should. <laughs> Do you like to use sustainable tech to charge your stuff instead of the coal plant? What are you getting at? Nico, what is this all about? Sorry, got a little off there. You think? The KTOR PowerBox is a pedal charger for your tech. This portable 20 watt- Hey, wait, wait, wait. I talked about a larger pedal charger at the Christmas episode. But this one is a little more than you would expect. I'm listening. Along with this usual smartphone charging, this thing can actually charge low power netbooks and tablets with a built in two prong outlet instead of the usual BYOC. That sounds good. The test participants were able to pedal the equivalent of 13 and a half miles per day, burning up to 500 calories. You can get yours for about 150 bucks at their site. And for the link, you can head over to our site. 
And our last story, I found an SUV that I really want. But you hate SUVs because they have terrible gas mileage. But this one's all electric. Now you're talking. And it's got some style. Great Scott, what do you mean? Tesla unveiled its new Model X SUV, the Falcon Wing, that's going to fold up. All electric will go into production in 2014 and is based on the yet to be released Model S sedan that's coming out later this year. Even though this thing doesn't guzzle gas like all the other SUVs, it's still got one big similarity, and it's the sticker price. It'll be around sixty dollars to $80,000, with the two-wheel drive version being the lower price and the $80,000 version being the four-wheel drive. The latter has two electric motors, that's one on each axle. With a 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, it's faster than a Porsche 911. But how long does it take to charge the 1.21 gigawatts? Thanks for watching another Green Tech Field show. Check out our past shows here. Be sure to subscribe to our show on YouTube. Hit the like button to show us that you like us. Follow us on all the normal social sites. You can find a list there on greentechweekly.tv. And as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green! Rethink it green! Because he's so bored. Yeah! 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 Oh, I'm talking about that. I'm gonna get you can. I'm gonna get you can. I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it.